good. So we actually met before. Yes, uh, maybe like three, four months ago. It was no, that was like a year ago. So we put an album out in October, so. Damn, that was, that was a, like year a year ago. Damn, yeah. bro, time yeah. fly. Yeah. So yeah. He, he actually brought um, uh, La Russell to my yeah. old studio, which was somebody that I really, really wanted to interview. So I really appreciate that. No, I no um, doubt, bro. What's the relationship with you guys? Because I see you, you always yeah. talking about, you quoted him a, a lot a of lot times in the book. book. Yeah. <laughs> so so La Russell is somebody that, you know, I came across on Instagram. I guess if that was October, I came across him early 2022, mm-hmm. maybe like, March 2022, right? Mm-hmm. And I was just like, man, this dude is incredible. You know what I mean? He's amazing. So I, I DM'd him, I want to say three months straight. Like I was leaving the comment, yo, check your DM. Like mm-hmm. I was I was doing everything to, just to, you know, get in contact with him because he was blowing up. You know what I mean? But I, I wasn't hitting him because he was blowing up. I hit him because we were talking about the same things. Mm-hmm. Like we were aligned on our strategy and, our, and the way we want to approach the music business. You know what I mean? So I was just, you know, I was like, man, this kid is exactly the type of artist I want to work with. Um, and so I eventually, um, well, actually eventually he got in touch with me. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I make content as well, just educating artists. And so eventually he came across my content and reached out to me and I'm like, duh, I've been trying to get at you for months. Um, so long story short, we ended up connecting, man, we talked a lot, man, probably for about two, three months. And we finally were able to come to a deal, uh, for us to distribute his album. I I own a distribution company. Mm -hmm. And so we finally able to come to a deal to distribute his album. Um, and so I met you in that album cycle. Mm-hmm. You know, we were we were promoting this new album, and so that's the you know I, I got to come across your podcast um, and everything you're doing, man. And, and, and same situation where it, it aligns. You know what I mean? What you're doing is amazing. So, you know, we got to meet that way. Yo, how do you negotiate a deal with somebody like that? Somebody so prolific, man. I, honestly, well, not even prolific though. Yeah, somebody who was like super independent. I mean, prolific mm-hmm. is the word, yeah. right? But just for the, so the people can know. Super independent, but know their stuff, right? Right. Like when you look at them, you would think that this person, I don't want to say got it, go all going, yeah. got it all figured out, but he knows he can't yeah. really just sign anything. Yeah. So when when you say I was able to sign a deal to get to distribute his project, that's yeah. really a big deal, especially somebody like him, somebody like a Russ, somebody like these type of people, where right, they're right. not just going for anything. Right. Well. First, as you start off, you got to bring something to the table, mm. right? You know, um, I have my expertise. I have me and my team, we're, we're really good at building artist brands. You know what I mean? We're really good at spreading the artist's name and and, and kind of uh, forcing them into being, you know, a part of the culture. Um, and so we, we brought a lot to the table, but I think it really, it went back to we aligned. Mm-hmm. You know, most people's problems with the music business is they don't feel like you understand them. Mm-hmm. They don't feel like you understand what they're going for and what they're trying to do. And so that we spent, you know, two plus months just getting that understanding. Like, hey, JR, this is what I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? How can you help me do this? Mm-hmm. And so we we talked about that, man. I, I went out to his house. I kicked it with him and the family. And we just got to the point where, where we said, okay, we align. We know we're going after the same thing. JR, I know you and your team had the expertise. I've seen you do it. Because that's another thing. Like, people are scared to sign a deal with somebody who are just selling them dreams. Mm. You know what I mean? Luckily for me, I had things that I had done right then and there that he could look at and say, okay, I watched you do this. Mm. I know that you can do what you say you're doing. You're not selling me a dream. Um, and so, and then at the end of it, it just came down to, La Russell, what numbers make sense for you? Because it's a partnership. It wasn't. It wasn't like you know most people in their their ideal dream. People are throwing dollars at them, and you know what I mean, and you know vying for their business. It, it wasn't that sort of situation. It was like, how can this partnership make sense for both of us? Mm. Jr., I know you need to make a profit for bringing this expertise. La Russell, I know you are. You've already built something, so I can't. I can't offer you anything that less than exactly. Yeah. Like it has to. I have to honor what you built. Mm. Um, and understand that, and so we were able to just work through it and create a partnership that worked for both of us. Yo, how so? How hard is it working for somebody like that? Well, working with somebody, with somebody like that, because like they have their yeah. idea of success. Yeah. You have yours, and like you said, it is a, it is a partnership. But most times in these situations, when you have an expertise in something, it's like, bro. Let me handle what I know. What I do. But it's like, I do this too. Right, right? exactly. Because, I mean, the person, wisely so, they don't want to change what, they, what they're what they doing because what they're doing got them there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But sometimes you got to understand it got you to this level. This level I'm trying to go to, you're going to have to do something different. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so just, you have to have that understanding. Um, But with Lil Russell, man, as long as you can explain it, he'll do it. Mm. It's, it's, when, it's when you can't. 
we're we're logical thinkers. You know what I mean? Most men are, right? Mm -hmm. And so if you can logically break down, I'm doing this because it's going to get this result. That's all it took for him. Mm. Listen, LaRussell, we want to put you on these blogs and we want to spend this amount of money that you're not used to spending because these are the results that we're going to get from it. And that's what we did. Mm. And so it was just a, a simple, you have to have a result attached to the reasoning for doing this. And we, again, were able to show him without even working with him, we get these results. And so it's just a matter of, LaRussell, this is how we get these results. Um, are you down with that? Yes, I am. That's pretty much how I went.